lesson number 15, noting and dimensioning and annotating our foundation plan. So we don't have a basement in our foundation plan. Uh, we are stuck here with the section window on as we had just finished that. Um, I've clicked on my 3D view and I'm done with the section box for now. So I'm going to come over to the properties. You may have to slide down. I'm going to turn the section box off. You can see my building is getting back to the way it was normally. And we're going to go back to the OO top of the footing later. And I'm going to zoom out just a little bit and get ready to put some of my notes in. Um, I'm going to encourage you. <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to encourage you to um, open up 20.4 and go to the foundation plan that is near page 17. It's in that area. And you're going to see a lot of notes on there. And, um, and so on those notes, um, you should have a handout of it. It will be on the Google Classroom page. You're, you're going to add several different notes. Um, the first thing that we'll do is we are going to change, though, before we write our notes, we're going to add some all of the dashed lines. So underneath annotate, we will click on, or the modify menu, we're going to click this icon right here, and this tells us to override. And what we want is we want to override and turn things that are regular lines into hidden lines. So we're going to click on the outside, which is where the footing is at. And in the corners, we've got to get all of these lines on the outside and turn these into dashed lines. So I'm going all the way around. This is representing the footing. Anything below ground is dashed lines. And then the next thing we want to do is we're going to turn um, the um, column here into a center line. So we're going to click on column. We're going to turn that into a center line. And we are going to make that just a little bit. Well, we'll leave it like that for right now. Okay. Always save your project. You can click on save. All right. The next thing we need to do is put in some dimensions. We have these dimensions in here, and those are going to be all right. Um, but we want to dimension, before I do that, we want to actually turn these lines into hidden lines as well. Anything that is below the grade. So we're going to use these hidden lines. So we've used some hidden lines, some center lines. Okay, now we're ready for our notes. All right, our we're, first note we're going to have is our floor joist. So um, underneath annotate, we're going to go to text and we're going to take an arrow and we're going to put an arrow going like this. Okay. And we want to, to, to say floor two inch by 10 inch floor dress. We close. Again, this is the wrong. Um, this is the wrong um, size text. It should be eighth inch. So we're going to make that one eighth of an inch. And we'd like this to stay straight if at all possible. Okay. We're going to put it going in each direction. And we really need those to go straight. Okay. And they don't need to be that long. So we can pull those in. And we're just telling you the direction that the floor joists are going. So there's the first note that you need. The next note that you need is um, to tell what the flooring is. And we're going to have a four inch concrete floor. So we're going to put in flooring. We're going to click right on here on notes. This time we're going to try to remember that it's eighth inch ahead of time. And this note will say four inch poured concrete floor. We really don't need to have an arrow on here because that represents the whole floor. So we're going to click minus on there. Just kind of leave that there. Um, we got to talk about the beam that we have here. We're going to point to the beam. We're going to do a um, new note. So click right over here. We're going to do a new note and we're going to point right to that spot right there. And we're going to tell it to have a 12 inch beam notch. 
Okay, that's going to be on that end. We need a beam notch on the other end as well, but that goes without saying. We don't have to talk about that anymore. Um, and then we need to dimension the window, the footing, and the concrete wall. Tell them we will do the footing first. One, two, place it. One, two, and place it. All right, we need to go back and edit these because we need to let it know what these are. So we want to click on that dimension. Might have to zoom in there just a little bit. And then for suffix, type in concrete, concrete footing. Apply. Click OK. And we're going to move that out just a touch. We're going to grab it and move this out of here. And then we can even move this one ahead of time if we'd like. We need to grab that, grab this right here, try to get it lined up. Double click on it, suffix again, eight inch concrete wall. Apply, click okay. Then that moved in just a touch. So we'll move it out there so it's in line with that. So we have now um, done our floor joist direction. We've done our beam notch, which where our footings are going. We want to make sure all these are at eighth inch. It appears that they are. We're going to need a, um, a sump pump in here. We're just going to fake that in with a circle and we're going to put it right here in the corner and we want it to be about one foot. Okay. Roughly one foot. Didn't get it exactly in the corner. So we'll just move it here and then we'll tell it to be one foot as well. And we'll do another arrow, text, come down here with some more text with the leader. Sump pump. And we'll also need an electrical panel. We're going to put the electrical panel away from the wall. We're going to do that with just a regular line. But we're going to make this line a little bit thicker. So we're going to go down to about a D7, D south line. We're going to put it right here, right over the top. You might not be able to see that, but if you click on the thick lines like this, this is what it's going to print like. We will be able to see that a little bit more. And we will also put a note on there as well that will say electrical panel. Click close. We need to dimension our pads and label them. So we've got a three foot by three foot by 12 inch pad. We're gonna go ahead and just label here these pads like this. We'll also make a note for that. That says, coming out in this direction, three foot by three foot by one foot on Concrete pad. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of our reference planes that are going around the edge here. And um, I'm going to hit escape. I could just select everything very quickly. You guys know I like to do that. Check none and grab reference planes. There were three of them in there. Click OK. We're going to delete those reference planes. Put on our final dimensions around the edges here. We want to go from the wall to the wall, which we know this should say 26.3, which we don't have perfectly. I grabbed the wrong one there, but we can move that right to this outside wall. And then we need to get to the outside for the footing so that they know exactly where those go. That's going to snap down 26.11. We need it for the inside as well. We're going to just kind of sneak that in there. And then from the sides as well, we only have to do it on one. So we'll go footing, footing. We'll pull that out. Probably shouldn't have done that. Okay, we have our reference planes on here. We're going to use those to set our dimensions. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our dimensions for the inside of the footing and let that be the base. We're gonna get the outside of the wall dimension 
and we're going to get the outside of the footing. Okay, and that's not snapped exactly to that, so we'll pull that up, make sure, make sure it gets right where it needs to go. We are going to do the same thing for the sides, the inside to the inside. Use our reference plane there. We'll go outside to outside here. And then we are going to go outside the footing to the outside of the footing. And I can see here I made a mistake on that last one. I didn't get this where it needed to go. That was supposed to go to that wall right there. All right, we can need to do is make sure that we have this set to the correct scale. So we're going to click on foundation plan, change this to 3 16 of an inch equals a foot. Click apply, click OK, it changes things just slightly, not too much. We're going to create a new sheet. Let's go over here to new sheet and we want the B South landscape. That came underneath here with C2, and that's okay. Fine, we're going to go ahead and rename this E2 Foundation. Okay. Um, since we already have a B2, we're going to delete this, and then we do want to rename this, And as I told you before. B2 Foundation. Get rid of that up there. Click OK. That keeps those in order. Drag the top of the footing here. Drag it in. Okay. We also need to go grab our label and scale. Here is one here. Copy to the clipboard. Go back to the foundation plan and click on paste from the clipboard. And we want to get this centered one more time. Okay, the scale is correct. You can see the scale in the corner. I want to change this to foundation plan. Okay, you can print this, whether it's school or your Cameo. Well, at this point, if you have the label and scale, your title back, and all the dimensions on here, you can go ahead and print that and turn it in.